So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of this graph that's provided here. So I like to take a quick look at the graph before reading anything, just to get us a lay of the land, a sense of how things are working format wise. So the best way to do that is to look at the X axis. So we have time that's measured in months. So, you know, month one, two, three, four, and five. And then on our Y axis, we have number of figurines, okay? So this is figurines over, you know, five months time. So the question tells us that Tracy collects, sells, and trades figurines, and she tracks the number of figurines in her collection on the graph below. Okay, so this graph is just a number of figurines in Tracy's collection month after month. So it looks like it goes up and then down and back up and down and up. So uh, the, the question continues on to say, on what interval did the number of figurines decrease the fastest? All right, so on a graph, right, fast increase or decrease really has to do with slope, right, which visually you can think of as steepness, right? So how steep is the change? So for instance, let's erase some of this so we can see it more clearly. Uh, we, have, uh, we have decreases here between one and two. We have decrease here between three and four. And the question is asking, well, where did it decrease the fastest, which means the steepest? So which one of those lines is steeper? And it's definitely this line here or that decrease there between month three and four. That is steeper. It goes down faster than uh, this line here between month one and two. So the answer, therefore, is choice C between three and four months. Really, that's the only way to answer this question because there aren't any units on the y-axis for us to know exactly how to calculate the slope between, between both of those decreasing segments. So this truly is a visual question, which is what I love about diagram questions in general. Um, and, you know, if you did not know this before looking at this video, like this idea of decreasing or increasing on a graph, um, and especially fast or slow, will always have to do with slope, right? So if we did have Y values, you could actually calculate what the slope was. Um, and then steepness, which again is a good just eye test typically, you can say, oh, that's increasing faster because it's steeper, or it's decreasing slower because it's like shallow, it's not as steep, right? So that's something to keep in mind for any other future similar questions.